In the winter of 1936, the Leo and Lucille Calder children had all come down with the measles. Also, Lucille was in the first trimester of her eighth and final child. With the pregnancy and seven sick children, Lucille had nearly become exhausted from nursing all of her children. And to make matters worse, Rachel, their second daughter, seemed to be failing in her health. And Lucille told Leo that she had been up with Rachel for four nights straight and that Rachel was dying. Leo called his father and they were preparing to administer a priesthood blessing to her. While preparing for the blessing, Leo received an impression that he was about to lose something very dear to his heart. While administering to his beloved daughter, he pled with the Lord not to take her from him. The Lord heard his prayer and Rachel started her way to a full recovery. But in the spring of that same year, Leo hired a man to help watch their sheep on Diamond Mountain. Early in the morning, that hired man built a fire, then left it unattended. The winds blew the fire into some nearby brush and quickly the fire spread to cut off any exits from the draw. The herd of sheep, approximately 1,000, were trapped in that draw. Instinctively, they huddled together while the fire raged about them and eventually threw them. Within the hour, over 800 sheep had perished and the rest were severely burned. Leo Calder said that when he had heard this news, it was the answer to his manifestation that he received while preparing to bless his daughter. He was never bitter, even though it put him out of the sheeping business and nearly broke him financially. He sacrificed to repay all of his debts and accepted the trials of losing nearly a thousand sheep rather than losing any of his children. Even though my father recounted the story of Grandpa losing his sheep while we were visiting Diamond Mountain, Dad did not take us up into Mel Draw or what he has labeled Tragedy Cove. I asked him the location of the fire and went on a solo into the cove. For me, this was a highlight of the trip because there are few places you can tread in this world where you can feel the outcome of historic events down to your toes and know what took place in the very spot you are standing may have changed the person that you are and have become. My Uncle Don stated, and My mother said that was one of the greatest blessings that ever happened in our family because our, we went out of the business, sheep business, and we didn't, her sons didn't become sheep herders. And she had seen what it had done to her brothers, and she didn't want that to happen to her sons. All eight of their children went on to earn various college degrees and bettered their lives by leaving Diamond Mountain in the sheeping business. Grandpa struggled to pay his debts and never really had a lot to give his children temporally. But the integrity with which he and his wife endured this trial earned them a legacy that will never die. Thank you, Grandma and Grandpa Calder, for being the people that you are.